Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Joe with DIY Cold Plunge. This time I've got a tutorial on how to add an inline temperature probe to your cold plunge. And full disclosure, this footage is from last year, so if there's any questions along the way, make sure to drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them there. If you're new here, check out DIYColdPlunge.com. I've got a ton of plans and products to help you build a cold plunge from start to finish. Or at the very least, subscribe to this channel, check out the tutorials and you can probably build one for yourself. And to be clear, this is part of my bathtub conversion plan. Plan. I left this exact setup outside all year last year and it kept my cold plunge cold and my chiller from freezing in the Minnesota winter. But enough about that, let's dig in. To have inline temperature sensing on your DIY cold plunge, two things that you will need in addition to your normal plumbing setup are a fitting that has two socket connections and a threaded connections. I'm obviously using a T for this. You could also use an elbow that has the threaded part going down this way. And then of course the thermal coupling, and I've linked this in the description below. You can get this on Amazon. The way that I'm attaching these together is with PTFE tape and thread sealant. This very likely could be overkill. If you're more comfortable with one or the other, you can do that, but I did not have any leaks when I set mine up this way. And now that we have that, we're just going to tighten this onto the fitting all the way. And that's all there is to adding the thermocouple to the inline PVC. As you can see there, it is now inline in your plumbing. Now we need to attach our assembly into our plumbing system. So this is the line after the filtration and sanitation system. I'm going to punch it in right here, but first I'm gonna take a couple measurements. First, the inside of the fitting that I'm using is one inch. A lot of fill fittings out there are three quarters, so just make sure you take this measurement for yourself. I have an inch depth on both sides there. This is eight and a half. I'm gonna write that down for later. So that's eight and a half inches. And I'm also gonna take a measurement here, and I'm gonna go two inches up from this fitting just to give myself some wiggle room. And this will be my first cut line. So I'm gonna cut two inches up here and start attaching the fitting to this assembly. With that cut made, use PVC primer and cement to attach the assembly to the plumbing. And once both of those are coated, we'll just do an insert and a twist. And I'm just kind of eyeballing to have that temperature probe kick straight up. So now again, we want this whole assembly to be eight and a half inches in length, like it was when we went in, so it can go back onto our cold plunge without issue. So for me, I'm just eyeballing this stuff. That means that I'm going to have to take off just over an inch on my tubing. So now with just a dry fit there, no PVC primer or cement there, I've got eight and a half inches, same as it was before. So I can take this out and then get to priming and cementing these together. And then just hold that until it sets up. And then we'll go back to hooking this up to our plumbing system. We're back to the back of the cold plunge again. This is what I took off to hook the temperature probe into. So now it's just attaching everything back together with the PVC unions. Now we'll take the actual probe on our ink bird and attach it to this coupling. So to do that, you'll wanna take off the cap insert the temperature probe through that cap, and then we'll push the probe all the way in, tighten this back up. You can put this assembly at any point in your plumbing system. I've always added it just before the water goes back into the tub. But like I said, it's adaptable and you can do what you want there. If you have any questions about the video, make sure to drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as I can. And let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on how to set up your ink bird to run both a heater and chiller like this. Don't forget to subscribe guys. That's it for now. We'll see you at the next video.